You know what guys, I realized that most of my gel contents are not doing quite well in this channel. So in this very episode, I decided to up my game a little bit. More precisely, I'm gonna up my firepower. What I'm talking about is the 200-ish uh, FPS kind of firepower. Hello, what is up guys, I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another one of my video. What I got over here is a TGM4 or we call that the Tiangong M4. There is actually two versions of this, we got the version version 1 over here, which is the bare bones version over here. And of course, we got the version 2, which is the decked out version. You know, we are talking about functioning dust cover and even some blowbacks. And these are upgradable blasters. Starting from today, I will start to review one of those, you know, really high power hobby grade gel blasters. So if you guys are into one of those, do remember to stay subscribed. And all of this is of course made possible thanks to Mac Potato for sending me these blasters for today's review. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dab blaster sellers who even sell gel blasters. All the necessary link will be provided in the description down below. To install the buttstock, fish the power cable through the buffer tube, align the buttstock and twist it in place. The battery compartment is located inside the buffer tube. Connect the wire, put the battery in and slide in the buttstock. Snap in the grip, the iron side, and you can choose between a flash hider or a fake mock suppressor. I'm personally a big fan of the flash hider. Open up the gel loading door and load in the gels, put in the magazine and this is how the blaster looks like with everything installed. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the silhouette, the aesthetic of the entire blaster is definitely an M4. So if you guys actually remember one of my older videos where I actually reviewed an oversized M4 before, you know, that good old bright white orange M4. In that video, I actually hope that they actually come out with something a lot more powerful than the previous, you know, 150 FPS blaster. And you know what? My request has been granted. And there we go. We got an oversized M4 silhouette looking gel blaster over here with a black, red, and silver color scheme. And of course, we got a black, red color scheme as well over here, more on that later. What I got over here is the bare bones edition, which the blaster only comes with a pair of iron side and a foldable grip. The entire blaster is actually pretty solid. The material is mostly ABS plastic. There's no uh, metal parts. What I've been told is that this gearbox over here is similar with one of those uh, Gen 8 gearbox, which allows you to upgrade various parts in the blaster, such as the gears, as well as the springs. The weight of the blaster, since it is made out of uh, mostly ABS plastic, it is actually moderate light. Well, there's like a whole gearbox in there, so we can't expect it to be like super light or something. There is still a little bit of weight to it, and the gearbox does not come with metal gears, as we expected, because this is a pretty budget-friendly blaster. Unlike all my previous gel blaster, this blaster actually comes with, of course, a functioning safety, semi-auto, and of course, full auto. We got an adjustable buttstock over here, which is sweet. The buttstock itself is pretty robust and it is rubber padded, so shouldering the buttstock is actually pretty comfortable. Just like any M4 configuration, we got a roll of Picatinny rail at the top of the blaster, both left and right hand side of the handguard, as well as the bottom of the handguard. And the blaster also comes with one of those uh, fixed suppressors, which I'm not a big fan of. That's why this video, I'm using one of these uh, muzzle flash instead of that, you know, fake suppressor. The grip of the blaster, I'm pretty sure it is an AR size grip over here. The trigger pull is pretty comfortable. The Version 1 of this TGN4 does not come with a functioning charging handle and of course the dust cover over here is fake. While the version 2 over here on the other hand, this is a lot more intimidating and I know you guys love intimidating blaster just like this one. This over here comes with a functioning charging handle as well as a functioning dust cover. And not to mention that whenever you fire the blaster, that blowback though is loud. You can even feel the kickback, which is absolutely cool. Well, even though that the version 2 comes with a priming handle, unfortunately, the blaster does not come with a mag prime, which is expected because this is overall a pretty budget-friendly blaster. Therefore, we have to do the manual mag prime, which after putting gels into the magazine, you will have to click this manual mag priming button over here until the gels popped out. You might wanna go a little bit much more expensive if you want something like a mag prime function, which we are definitely going to do it in future gel blaster videos. And of course, the version 2 of the TGM4 comes with an additional scope over here. This is of course a dummy scope. Always not a big fan of dummy scope. The blaster also comes with a sling mounting point at the front over here, which I do not trust because it is made out of plastic. Well, it is best to just mount it at the buttstock. I mean, the buttstock is actually 
seriously solid. As far as I'm being told, this blaster can actually shoot all the way to 200 FPS. So without further ado, let us go test the blaster out. Okay, okay, we are back guys, so the result is actually pretty surprising. Oh boy, I mean this blaster shoots really hard, way harder than it claims. This blaster over here can fire us from 217 FPS all the way to 238 FPS. Holy actual moly, this thing went over 200 FPS easily. And we are just using one of those cheap basic gels. This blaster can easily achieve 250 FPS if you decided to use those harder gels. Since these blasters can hit over 200 FPS, hitting a target in 20 meters is definitely not an issue. But unfortunately, I'm staying in a pretty small apartment. I can only go as far as 10 meters. In my test, in 10 meters, hitting a target is absolutely no issue at all. And of course, operating this blaster, so far, I did not encounter any jams, which is a good thing. The one with the dust cover and blowbacks. That blowback mechanism though, feels really good. Man, I can definitely do this all day. And of course, I don't think we need to include this in this video. Do these blaster passes the wall test? Obviously guys, obviously these blaster passes the wall test with superbly flying colors. While if you guys wanted a faster rate of fire, I suggest you to change the gears to metal gears first before switching the battery to an 11.1. So yep, I guess that's it. These are pretty smooth sailing blasters. More of these high performance blasters is on its way already. So if you guys don't want to miss it, do remember to click the subscribe button. And if you guys like it, feel free to smash the like button. I will be posting videos every Saturday and maybe once in a while on Wednesday. So don't forget to click the subscribe button as well well as ringing the notification bell. So yep, got to check it out and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Adios guys! Yeah.